guys welcome back to another video i am so scared today because the day has arrived for me to get my lip fillers dissolved i'm just trying to park my car because i'm going to go to work before that i was supposed to dissolve my lip fillers this past summer and i went to my appointment and everything but the girl told me that she didn't think it's worth it because my lips weren't that botched but for me to still be thinking about this after like six months like i should definitely do something about it i feel like so i've booked an another appointment and I'm actually gonna go with a friend of mine we're gonna do it together which also feels quite comforting to know that I'm not gonna do it by myself but the just the thought of like me I've had lip fillers for um what five years I think I don't even remember what I look like Philip has never seen me my family's not seen me without fillers so I'm definitely very nervous but I just feel like it needs to be done and then Obviously now that we can wear masks because of COVID, I think it's a privilege. I have a shift from 2.30 to 7.30 and then at 8.30, I have my treatment. So I'm gonna head to work and then I'll chat to you guys as soon as I'm done with my shift. So we can go get our lips dissolved. I had one job today and that was to bring my camera but I didn't I forgot it in the locker my job hopefully you guys can see anyway I'm just gonna be filming the process we're both gonna go get our lips dissolved fucking nervous <sighs> video has been so jumpy and weird so I thought let me sit down and actually talk to you guys I've been getting my lips done for five years I think a total of four times not too many but I was told in the beginning that lip fillers dissolve by themselves they will disappear and you don't have to do anything about them personally I feel like they didn't disappear on me if anything they started to move around and I started to get fillers above my lip and I started to get this a disgusting shadow it just started to look a little bit weird so this all goes back a year ago when I started to feel like my face was feeling a little bit odd like in pictures or just some days i woke up so swollen and i was like okay something is definitely off with my face so i started making my research about it and clearly your feathers does move around your face sometimes and what happened is they go up and they migrate that's basically what it's called being a person with such small lips naturally and like your fillers being a part of your identity at this point i was just so thrown off by the idea of getting them dissolved but i still knew that i need to do this so finally i got the courage and i booked an appointment last this summer uh this past summer and i finally 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 decided to go do it went to this girl and she started touching my lips around a little bit and she was like i don't think it's worth it for you to do it because they're not so uneven and they're not hard she's like usually when people come and do this their lips are like literally botched like fucked up and yours are fine you're just gonna be wasting your time and money so I love that she was being so honest and like she wasn't thinking about the money perspective so I took her advice and I went home now six months later I'm still thinking about this so I was like you know I just need to get it done will I be getting my lips refilled is the next question and a lot of people around me have been telling me that I look cuter or I look better without fillers I don't know honestly some days I'm like do you know why I look fine like come on there's so much makeup there's so much stuff you can do nowadays but then also I feel like I get this balance in my face when I have a little bit of fillers when I did this I actually thought you're gonna go dissolve it once and then you're done but clearly it does not all dissolve with one time so basically i've been going two times to this girl now i feel comfortable in the fact that you're not like overnight you have no lips it's kind of a process you know so you're kind of mentally starting to get used to it for me it's been a week now and i've done it twice in this week and every single day i'm just getting a little bit more used to it so she basically injected something called heal hyalinase 
this product is basically dissolving the the filler gel in your face so what's happening is just like dissolving it and then your body starts to like eat it up i don't know you perhaps you're like peeing it out or shitting it out i'm not sure but it disappears and it's quite cool i love the body how it works literally everyone was talking about was the pain people are talking about like exaggerating and when i tell you it was not that bad it's bearable okay it's a pretty similar pain to getting your lips filled if you've ever gotten your lip fillers done you know what it feels like it kind of just a pinch obviously you're gonna have to be numb like she put the cream on and stuff but the feeling is like a pinch kind of actually a hard pinch but like it's bearable it's a pinch and then what actually i find a little bit painful was when she injected it because you can feel your lips like being injected with something it's not that bad guys it's honestly 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 not that bad the fact that i've been like overthinking this i'm just so upset with myself should have just done it that because do you know what my theory is if you ever have one thought about doing it then something is off with your face and the slightest bit i think it's worth fixing like because it's your face imagine did i dissolve all of it you guys there's no way you can go into the clinic and tell her i want this lump dissolved that's not possible because when she injects you with this stuff it kind of spreads around your face i personally wanted uh, especially this side of my face dissolved and I told her that and she was like there's no way I'm gonna have to dissolve everything so if you're considering it you're gonna have to remove all of it the reason why I'm so bruised up especially on this side is because we did a little bit of extra injections on this side because I had a uh, really bad like an uneven freaking product in my face so yeah you are gonna probably get a little bit bruised you're gonna have to probably be without lip fillers for two weeks that's fine i cannot like the feeling i'm gonna have when i go get them done again and like r like a new shape and just fresh fillers like ah i just i get goosebumps just by the thought of it because lately i was just so thrown off by my whole face because of my lips it's really funny because it's actually christmas today and this is what i'm doing i hope i answered all the questions that you guys were thinking at least i think this is personally what i would like to know when before getting my lips dissolved and so if you're thinking about it personally like coming from a person who was so afraid for one year i was not doing it it's worth it, it it's worth it whatever you tell me it's worth it they're still in the process of getting smaller and dissolving this is currently what my lips are looking like i hope you guys found this little mini vlog helpful i know i would really appreciate it before um just considering dissolving my lips so Please, if you did enjoy it and if you got your question answered, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Please. You guys are watching me, but you're not following me. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.